Hello everyone, welcome to Digital Adobe YouTube channel. In this video, I'll walk you through the steps on how to create Google's call only ads and how to set up the conversion for that. Uh, if you have a business that depends on phone calls, let's say you, let's say Uber, uh, Uber gets a lot of calls to book other than the app also. Uh, if you have a legal business or spa business uh, or hotels, uh, hotels usually have call centers working throughout the uh, throughout the day. So if you have any of those kind of businesses, then Google's call only ads is the best option for you uh, because you can also because you can get a lot of calls and you can also measure the duration of the calls and uh, you'll get some business from it. So let me take you to Google's dashboard now to explain how you can set it up. I'll click on campaign and I'll take this create a campaign without goal objective and I'll go with search because call only ads is a search ad right and you'll get three options website visits phone calls and app downloads I'll go with phone calls so you'll have to enter your phone number over here you'll see different countries right so I'll take the example of let's take the example of India Let's take this number which is showing here. Right. I'll click on continue. So campaign name. So I'll write it as call only ads. And I will choose the network as search only search network. I don't want display network okay show me more settings so you can start add the start date and the end date right start date by default is today's date uh, it comes by default and you can select the end date or you can keep it as none if you want to continue uh, campaign URL options I'll keep it as it is and dynamic search ads this I'll create it in a different video I don't want to do it over here and it's not relevant for search call only ads also and location you can set whatever location you want and in targeting you can set people in or who show interest in your targeted location so if you have a hotel business like I was telling you you know if somebody from outside India let's say from Sri Lanka want to visit India right then you can keep this option otherwise if you have a dental local business if you for example if you have a spa business then obviously people from other cities will not come to you it will not travel to another country for spa right so in that case uh, then people in or regularly in your targeted locations is the right option so it really depends on which industry you are in exclude exclusion is anything people in your excluded locations right then by default English is there you can see it's checked in audiences really you can show because this is a search ad you know I'll leave it open I don't want to you know uh, uh, I don't want to you know further narrow the audience uh, budget uh, you can take whatever budget you want let's say I'll go with 50 per day now bidding conversions so when you're starting a new campaign my experience has been to go with manuals uh, to go with conversions right or you can select a bid strategy I like to go with manual CPC right because and I like to turn off the enhanced CPC you can see over here that Google it automatically checks in eCPC which is enhanced CPC I don't want to check in this one because I want to see manually how my performance perform ad campaigns performs and then go for it go for eCPC if it's not performing well right so you will get a lot of options over here target CPA with ROAS, return on ad spend, maximize clicks, conversions, conversion value, target impression share and manual CPC right now account level conversion setting now this is the most important part for any campaign in Google Ads or even in Facebook or Twitter you want to measure how your campaign is running how do you do that you need to set up a conversion isn't it you can't uh, by default it comes use the account level including conversion settings 
and if you do this you will be making a big blunder because not every campaign has one conversion right different campaigns have different conversions in our campaign we have to know how many people called and we have to determine the value of each call right and i will go with choose conversion actions and i click over here I already have a lot of conversion actions set i also have this calls from ad and if i t check this then this will show up but i want to show you in this video how you can set up this conversion right you open google ads again in a new tab if you open it then click on tools right and click on under measurement you'll find conversions click on conversions because we have to set up a conversion for this phone call right you'll come to this page click over here so, sorry yeah so if you see over here automatically you know it's recording conversions but this is google hosted so by default you'll find google hosted conversions but you also need to create your own conversions if you see over here i'm getting these conversions recording conversions and these i've set it up in analytics because analytics also pulls in the data in google analytics and shows us over there you can see 307 conversions right so click over here to create a new conversion here we are measuring phone calls you also have website app and import import is when you like I was just mentioning that you are imported from Google Analytics you set up the conversion over there and then you uh, import it here we're going to go with phone calls you'll find three options calls from ads using call extensions or call only ads if you see over here call only ads this is what we are doing the second one is calls to a phone number on your website so track when someone interacts with one of your ads then calls business from a number on your website so he doesn't call from the ad but he goes to the website and then calls but this requires a google forwarding number right google assigns a google forwarding number and this is not uh, available in all the countries this is available only in few countries so same with call only ads also and call extension also it has a google forwarding number so the third option is clicks on your number clicks on your number on your website mobile website so if you want to track how many if you have a number on your mobile website and if you want to track uh, people clicking on those numbers then this then you can use this option but th uh, thankfully this does not require a google forwarding number as you can see track when someone clicks on a phone number link on your mobile website so you will just have to add a tag to your mobile website this option does not require google forwarding number Right, so I'll click over here Google calls from ads using call extensions and I'll continue now category automatically since I've selected phone call previously it will show us phone call lead otherwise you have this purchase subscribe submit at a lead form book appointment etc I'll go with phone call lead conversion I will write it as call only ads campaign okay now value uh, this is the most important part over here would you want to assign a value or you don't want to assign any value uh, this is not recommended uh, because you would want to measure uh, the cost which is associated when somebody clicks on the call right on the number and then how much value you're getting so I'll go with use the same value and how do you determine the value let me just open my word document now how do you calculate how do you calculate a value per lead right so let's say in a day you get you get 10 phone calls okay you get 10 calls um, per day so, so 10 people clicked on your phone number right out of which let's say four calls were converted into a sale right out of 10 calls phone call, four calls get converted into a sale so the conversion is 44 divided by 10 into 100 so conversion value is 40 percent right this is the percentage so 4 divided by 10 multiplied by 100 is 40 percent right let's say each sale so you have four calls which converted each sale is let's say five hundred dollars okay so each sale is five hundred dollars so total total uh, 
uh, sales you got is 500 into 4 which is $2,000 right this is the total sale you got and you need to divide 2000 divided by the total number of calls 10 which is equal to 200 200 dollars so this is what you should i'm sorry this is how you calculate uh, the cost per uh, the value for each conversion so i'm going to put this as 200 over here I'll just repeat myself away here. You get 10 calls per day from your leads, from your ads, sorry. Out of which four calls were converted, right? So the conversion value is 40%. Each sale is $500. So you get total sale is $2,000, 500 multiplied by four calls. So this $2,000, you have to divide it by the total number of calls, right? Because Google will charge you for these calls regardless of the whether a sale happened or did not happen right so these 10 calls were the total calls for which you will be charged so 2000 which is the revenue divided by 10 will give you 200 right so you'll have to put that 200 over here to be able to really calculate uh, the value for each conversion right so it's a profit right i mean your sale is giving you 500 dollars and you are spending uh you're spending two hundred dollars per conversion per right count select how many conversions to count per click so this is recommended for lead sign up so since we are doing a lead so we'll stick with one call length again you know your business better uh you know that you should be knowing how much time it takes for somebody to uh you know to convert would you need to talk to him for a minute or would you need somebody to talk for 30 seconds what's the average time i think that you can answer it yourself for hotels or resorts for example it takes a bit longer because people usually inquire uh, what's for breakfast when is high tea available what are the facilities that are available like swimming pools you know gym etc so they speak a bit long as opposed to as opposed to let's say gift shop right so they speak uh relatively they speak uh, lesser because they just they know what they are purchasing so maybe they will just talk for 30 seconds or uber like i mentioned earlier they know that they have to uh, they need a taxi so obviously the call will be very short and swift let's say i keep it for 30 seconds or you can do it 45 seconds whatever you want so google will determine uh, the call length also right so length the call uh, enter the minimum length call to call needs to last as uh, to count as a conversion right so this will count as a conversion conversion is 30 seconds including conversion yes so you need to check this on if you don't check this on then you know this automatically this will be accounted for use the account level including conversion so you need to check over here and then select right and then attribution model it really depends i mean different people use different uh, techniques but for call only ads last click is the best uh, available option just click on create and continue right you have set up your call only ads so this will show up over here then you need to go back and then select the conversion value i'll have to refresh it it's not going to show straight away but uh, if i refresh it now unfortunately i'll have to set it up from right from the beginning again so you understood what you need to what i just tried to explain ad schedule again this is also very important if your business is not working 24 hours then why would you want to show your ad throughout the day it doesn't make sense so you'll have to just you know maybe you start your uh, business from 9 a.m let's say so from 9 a.m till Till, let's say 7 p.m. right and then if you work only on weekdays so Monday to Friday you can use it so your ads will not be run on Saturday and Sunday and from 7 1 p.m. till 8 59 a.m. right so this is very important that you make sure that you don't uh, make this 24 hours because by default if you do not add any days then by default you know it'll run 24 hours and you'll just lose your money 
or if somebody calls at that time and you're not able to answer the call then that's a loss of uh, uh, credibility right ad rotation yeah pref prefer best performing ads it's good to have this option and to create multiple ads because you know you'll know that which ad is performing well right so site link call out and uh, I'll explain this in a different video but you know for call only ads it's good to have some kind of extensions so site link is when somebody clicks on your ad and that user goes to a uh, used goes to a page on your website call only ads and call ads so you need to add a number over here this is the call extension you added the number save and continue something that I did not sorry for that okay so you'll have to choose a conversion like I said so for the sake of this video I'm just going to go with uh, the two plus minutes or oh, I'll go with this one calls from call center for example right click on save and continue and you'll come to a creation of ad group right now that we have set up the campaign we'll come to the ad group you can name your ad group whatever you want and uh, keywords now normally I like to have keywords uh, by theme right theme based keywords are the best keywords that you can have for example if you have uh, a, uh, a coffee shop where you sell uh, beverages and foods right so it's good to have a separate ad group for beverages and separate for uh, other things you know that will ensure that you know the right ad is showing up uh, to the right search query but for call only ads it's good to have a handful of keywords uh, because that way you know uh, the ad shows up more often and you don't have to rely on uh, y y I mean it's it's call only ad is different it works differently so if I click over here hotel for example it's nothing is showing up it's over here right so if you don't so it's good to have a handful of keywords right book accommodation best hotel booking site etc right and it's good to have it broad match rather than phrase because normally I don't advise having broad match keywords because your ad shows up for every single thing uh, for example if I just have a keyword hotel so it might show up for cheap hotels also if I keep it as broad match I'll create a separate video for that so I don't want it to show for cheap hotels but for call only ads it's good to keep it broad match so so that you can get some calls so I'll just save and continue default bit it's up to you I mean how much you want to spend per day uh, spend per bit sorry uh, but it's good to have a higher amount because that way you know you can cut out your competition so we come to the ad platform now so we created uh, campaign level ad group level and now add right we had campaign settings ad group and now ads final URL you need to give your website it shows over here that you know use HTTPS wherever possible so I'll use that right headline I'll use it at uh, uh, you can give one headline which is 30 characters second headline 30 characters and third headline 30 characters and then description of 90 characters previously there used to be only two headlines but now there are three headlines which gives you more space and more options to to add some more text you know best best uh, hotel uh, deals this spring enjoy 30% off this on any hotel room 
and if I exceed this then you know it'll, the red line will show so make sure that you're within the limit and then call and speak to our representative speak to our agent right then you can have the description uh, take advantage of our spring offer and call us on call us let's say and you can similarly you can have another description with over 100 hotel rooms we are the largest hotel offering different entertainment facilities let's say so you got the idea so I'll just create on so you can see that my ad is already created over here you can also create a responsive search ad right so this was about I, I'll just click on save and continue so it says that add, adding a additional headline and description can help you reach more potential customers and it's good to have fill up everything but just for the sake of video I'm not doing it I just click on save so now this was about uh, how to create your call only ads it's really important for businesses which are dependent on phone calls like I said and then you can create different ads these are text ads and this is responsive search ad uh, so it's good to have these kind of ads so that you know you get more phone calls and you can measure but just make sure that you create the conversion and you track the conversion otherwise if you don't do it then you'll you will not know the effectiveness so that's it for this video stay tuned uh, for more videos like this please like this video and share it with your friends thank you bye for now